At the retreat, various therapeutic activities were used to help in the healing process. We'll be looking at the healing circle, where they actually form a literal circle and people are, are exposed to, they're able to talk freely about their issues and their concerns and how it has impact on their lives. Experienced local and overseas counseling psychologists were present to intervene, especially in instances where the participants demonstrate overwhelming burden and or emotional scars arising from their close association with violence. With the circles, we may find that persons who are not able to deal with the extent of it, we actually pull them out and we offer counsellors are here to offer counselling services to them. Each circle has several facilitators, many of whom have had traumatic experiences themselves. They also share experiences and give the young participants tips on how to deal with the pain that just won't go away. Forgiveness is a painkiller. If you have done something to somebody and you know that you've done them bad, one day you should try to reach out and tell them you're sorry. Those who cause the pain also have a chance to see the consequences of their actions. It allow the perpetrator to understand the pain that the victim go through and not just the direct victim, also the indirect victim by a larger community who also feel the pain as a result of what was done by the perpetrator. These perpetrators, however, are given a helping hand and a listening ear so they can deal with their own deep-seated issues and find better ways of handling their feelings of anger. However, they still have to take responsibility for what they did. It not just release them totally because they are still able to go back to court to continue. But the process of healing and the matter of expressing themselves, they may not be able to do this in a formal court setting. So this brings a different light and a more meaningful healing process, which the victims and the perpetrator will both benefit from it. Another therapeutic activity that the young people participated in is the balloon release. For this activity, Participants write down the issues that they would like to let go of on a small piece of paper and paste it to a helium balloon. They then release the balloons into the air. It's symbolic of actually letting go of their issues. Okay. So they let go of their past issues. So what's the theme of the program? The highlight of the day was the motivational talk given by entertainer and motivational speaker Roy Rayan. When you rise in the morning, say, yes, I can. When you pray and thank God, say, Yes, I can. If you fall, say, Yes, I can. When you rise, say, Yes, I can. Before you go to sleep, say, Yes, I can. When you give thanks for God, for love, life, wisdom, understanding, and prosperity, say, Yes, I can. When it seems it's impossible, friends, say, Yes, I can. It's always possible. There's always a way. Just think Believe and know that you can. Say, yes, I can. Yes, I can. can you make a positive difference? Yes, I can. Can you be nice? Yes, I can. Can you be gentle? Yes, I can. Respect your... The entertainer helped the youngsters to see their value through songs, poems, and the repetition of positive phrases. I know that I am, and that's who I want to be. I can't be anyone else. I can achieve. I have the will. Nothing is beyond me. I am life. I am love. I am prosperity. I give thanks that I am. I am humbled knowing that I can. At the end of the day, the counselors and facilitators assessed its impact. So we do have an evaluation at the end of the day. And then there are also teams from the Victim Support Unit as well as Dispute Resolution who will be doing follow-up with them. The program has shown positive results since it began a year ago. We have seen where it has impacted, getting the offenders and the victims to actually have a say in the general, in the general um, court issues as related to healing and getting the victim to understand that what he has done is wrong and the whole issue of forgiveness and acceptance of the issue. This program will continue to develop and the government has begun to give consideration to it as a viable option for delivering justice in cases which involve juveniles. Restorative justice recognizes the wrong done, but it seeks to address the root cause of the offense so that there will not be a re-offense. In this way, 
communities where violence reigns may finally experience peace. Before God and all mankind, I pledge the love and loyalty of my heart, the wisdom and courage of my mind, and the strength and vigor of my body. In the service of my fellow citizens, I promise to stand up for justice, brotherhood, and peace. To work diligently and creatively, to think generously and honestly. and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. That's it for today's show. Let us know what you think about it. Send your feedback to Jamaica Magazine at jis.gov.jm. Want to see the show again? Visit www.jis.gov.jm for this and other programs. I'm Stacey Ann Smith. Take care until next time. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service. The, the Voice, Voice of, of Jamaica. Jamaica.